Hey Hans. So today we're gonna go over how I soak off my acrylics. So here is my cuticle pusher. And as you can see, it's kind of curved, so it can just go over the nails. This is my tornado bit, as I mentioned in every single video. It's my Koopa e-file that I will be using that bit for, just so that I can shave the nails down, so that I can get them very, very thin. Locking it in, and as you can see, I do like to keep my acetone in some warm to hot water just to heat it up, so that it can activate a little bit faster, so that I'm not soaking for a freaking lifetime. Now I have that bit in, it's locked in, and let's get started. So this bit, I have had it for a little while and I am gonna be replacing it very soon. It is starting to dull when it gets to the head of the bit. So as you can see, then I'm gonna be using the more so of the body of the bit to be shaving down these nails, getting off that gel polish and bringing the nails down to a bit paper thin. You do wanna make sure that you are taking the head of that bit and just going around that cuticle area so that you can start to thin that out as well. Here I have my e-file at a little bit, a little bit over medium speed high, just so that I can get this done a little faster. And if you don't have an e-file, you still can do this soak off with a hand file. Here's a little bit of the design, and then also I'm showing you the thickness of my nails. And then I'll also show you at the end how thin I took them down to. Now you're gonna take this same technique that we did on the thumb to every single nail before you soak them off. Now I did have a little bit of lifting right there, so I just wanna make sure that I get that completely off. This is how thin I get them. But that first, that pointing finger, I am gonna take that down just a little bit more since that one was on the more thicker side. I don't wanna have that one soaking for a lifetime, so I'm gonna just take that one down a little bit more. And there we go, and now they are ready to go in a soap bowl. Now you can either put them in a bowl, or you can also use the method for wrapping them in the tin foil with a cotton ball. Now these bowls do get stained, when you are using them and pouring out your acetone when you are finished. So that's just the reason why that looks like that. So I've taken the acetone out of that warm water and now I'm just going to place my hand in and just wait. And here is my non-dominant hand my left hand this is just what they look like and if you want a tutorial on this design just comment below chrome hun and i will be sure to get that to you this is how long my natural nails are under there i did scope these nails out a little bit over a week ago so yeah there they go now this is what they will look like after two minutes This is what they look like after five minutes. And this is what they look like after a complete 10 minutes of soaking in that acetone. So you see, to me, the way that I like to say that they look is they look like a, a wet cracker. Like if you were to wet a Ritz cracker, this is what they look like. If it is the correct product, which I use Young Nails and it is not MMA, then they should just come right off. It should be no slime or anything like that. So now you're just gonna be taking your cuticle pusher 
and taking it with that curved piece and just pushing down all of that product. Just push it all off of your nails. Now when it comes to me, you know, soaking mine off, yes, as you can see, I am a bit aggressive when it comes to doing mine. When you are doing a client, you want to make sure that you are being as gentle as possible. you can see on my thumb I did not have that thumb completely in so just a little bit on the corner the product is a little bit more hard to get off and then this is what they look like after you have taken that cuticle pusher you know you can just basically roll the product off and like I said if you don't put it in some hot 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 water before soaking it off Acetone makes your hands so cold. It makes my hands really, really cold. So as you can see, I just was warming up my hands a little bit there because the water that I put it in, it wasn't as hot as I normally do. So it was a bit freezing for your girl, but yeah, there we go. So now I'm gonna place it back in for five more minutes. And then here it is. So now you can see the rest of that product is just ready to just be basically rubbed off. So I'm still taking Still taking that cuticle pusher to be able to push off the remaining product that is on the nails and it's just coming off so easy. I will add when you are doing the other method as far as the tin foil and the cotton ball you do waste less product so if you want to do that method you can and there we have it all of the acrylic is off of my natural nails so now my next step I'm going to take is I'm gonna take a medium buffer and just buff off the remaining of those flakes on my nails and just smooth out the nails now if you are going to be proceeding with a manicure a gel manicure or going ahead with another set of acrylics then you would just take the proper steps to prep them for those services but for this, the end of this video, I'm not going to be servicing my nails. So you will just see me buff them out. And then that will be the end of this service for me. And there we have it freshly soaked off they have not been fired or anything like that you can see a little bit of damage from my nails just because i am right-handed but they are healthy and strong